Uh, 19th player in program history with 1,000 points in your career. You do it on a three-pointer to uh, walk us through that play. You hadn't made a three-pointer all game as a team. Walk us through what you saw on that that three-pointer. Um, it was just, uh, you know, one of those plays in the game where you hit it and you kind of ice the game a little bit, you know, give you a comfortable, comfortable lead. And um, as usual, I think it was Micah that was driving in, and I just found the open spot on the three and knocked it down. <laughs> You get 1,000 points in your career. What does that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. Um, I wouldn't have been able to do it without my teammates, obviously. You know, finding me, getting me the ball, um, feeding me when I'm hot. They're really good about that. So I couldn't have done it without them. You get it in a game as well against one of the top teams in the conference over the last couple of years. What's that mean to have that kind of uh, mark in a game like this? It definitely makes it memorable, I guess. Um, I'm just glad we got the win. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll probably remember that more than anything, but it definitely is a little bit of an icing on the cake. It was 61-57 with seven minutes to play. Anderson had just clawed back into the game. What was the mindset in that timeout, knowing that you had had some mishaps in the past in the fourth quarter? Um, a little bit of reflection on games in the past when we were in the same situation and uh, knowing that that had been a weakness before and just knowing we had to close it out. So um, we collected ourselves and decided we had to finish the game, and that's what we did. You get Newberry on Saturday. You know as well as anybody that despite the fact you beat them by 20 already this season, they're a capable team. What do you need to do to get ready for the Wolves? Um, just to get some shots up, get in the gym, really focus in on the scout and do what we've been doing.